Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the Maui Tropical Rainforest demo inside of Unreal Engine 5.2. This is a brand new asset pack that was released by Maui. This is the guy who makes that realistic Redwoods Forest pack I showcased a while back here on the channel. And I was trying to recreate what Arc 2 would look like inside of Unreal Engine 5. But yeah, this is absolutely just beautiful. And what's crazy is that he released this pack, I think a few weeks ago, and then we had the Electric Dreams demo that was released a few days ago. I think both of these demos are very comparable in terms of, you know, the assets that they come with, but the only real difference I can think of is that the Electric Dreams demo lacks these sort of jungle trees that we find here in the Maui Tropical Rainforest Pack. I mean, in the Electric Dreams demo, they just have, you know, simple forest trees. It just doesn't look like a jungle, but more like a normal forest, if that makes sense. But in this Maui pack, they have tropical palm trees, you know, these massive jungle canopies. Now, before we get into the video, I want to really quickly tell you about my multiplayer survival game course. Learn how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. We create things like an inventory system, crafting system, an open world map that uses PCG to procedurally spawn all the foliage on the map, complete building system, harvesting system. There's over 50 plus hours of course content. So head over to smartpoly.teachable.com and get an early access discount on the course. The price of the course will be raised later on. So make sure you don't miss out. So check the link in the description below or head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more. And I mean, this is just what I imagine when I think about what arc 2 would look like i mean you just have a very dense jungle with these leaves on the ground bushes vines sprawling from everywhere it just kind of reminds me of running through the forest in the original arc game but i mean the graphics are nothing when you compare it to this and speaking of arc i know i referenced that game quite a bit here on the channel but i mean they're working on a remaster of the original arc 1 game you know called arc ascended as some of you might know and they're basically taking the entire game and just updating it to, you know, Unreal Engine 5 with a remaster of the graphics. So they're going to rehaul the, all the meshes, update it with Nanite and Lumen. And I really hope it looks something similar to this. And now you can actually see I'm getting around 40 to 50 FPS. And so this is running in 4K and on my RTX 4090. There's no DLSS enabled as far as I know. And I mean, it's expected to get this type of frame rate, especially when you have such a densely you know, populated jungle. I think jungles are probably the most you know, graphically demanding types of scenes that your graphics card can render because you can compare the performance that we're getting in this dense jungle versus say you know like a desert biome where it's just cliffs, cactuses, you know rocks and dead grass even with nanite on all of those you get something like probably 100 to 200 fps. I mean it's just not the same comparison because you don't have so many of these high quality nanite meshes it's such a close proximity to each other like you would in this jungle demo now the huge thing that i think is a big deal which i don't think any of you will notice but is the fact that you can look at all the foliage here in the scene like say the bushes and trees and you aren't going to see any pop in i mean this is very common with games nowadays that you have a billboard for foliage off in the distance so that you can save, you know, with the performance and swap it out with the actual mesh as the player walks up close. And that process many times produces this very unnatural and very noticeable pop in. And now you can't see any of that in this scene because, well, we're using nanite meshes on everything, which means that you have this high poly, high geometry mesh stream in and out without using proxy meshes to save performance. And nanite just, you know, triangulates the entire mesh and it streams in and out seamlessly. I mean, you just don't notice any pop in of the meshes anymore. And it also saves game developers a lot of time because they don't really have to spend time making a proxy mesh and trying to make sure that it blends in with the actual normal mesh. Now, another thing I love about this demo is just the forest floor and all of Maui's demos and asset packs do this. They just have so much ground clutter on the forest floor which makes it look so realistic rather than having, you know, a flat texture on the landscape, you have, you know, different piles of leaves which are actual meshes. They have tree roots and these vines, you know, different bushes and plants that are just scattered all across the ground. Now, I'm not sure if this scene was made procedurally or not. I think it was just painted on the landscape. I could be wrong, uh, but just imagine using some of these jungle trees and asset packs inside of the Electric Dreams demo, you know, swapping out the 
forest trees that they have in there for these jungle trees. I mean, why not combine the best assets of both packs together? I mean, in the Electric Dreams demo, you have all of the very high quality Quicksoul scan rocks, the fallen logs, and that very natural looking riverbed. All you really need to do is just combine the jungle trees from this Maui pack, you know, the palm trees, all that stuff, and combine it together to create a very realistic jungle. Maybe I'll have to do that in a future video, but I currently don't own this pack. I'm actually just playing a demo that you can download from their marketplace page. And note, if you want to download the demo, you have to actually pay for it. It's not free anymore because I guess ArtStation won't let you put up free files because of I think the file size or the download bandwidth. I'm not entirely sure what reason they gave on the page. You can read it up, but I think I paid around, you know, $1.99 for this demo, but they're selling their complete marketplace pack for I think 350. So I'm probably either going to wait for a marketplace sale unless you guys really want me to try and make a video with it. But another th amazing thing is just seeing the lighting peek through the trees. I mean, you can just see the sun rays casting through the jungle and it just looks very realistic and if i try and purchase this pack i'll definitely have to try it out inside of vr i already tested the electric dreams demo inside of vr and if you guys want to see that video i'll leave a link to it in the description i was absolutely blown away by the graphics and it seems that you know unreal engine 5.2 has more updated support for nanite and lumen inside of vr but yeah this maui jungle pack is really putting my graphics card to work I mean, we're getting around 40 FPS in this scene. I would really love to test what kind of performance I can get out of this demo with, say, you know, DLSS 3.0, especially with the frame generation, because I think I could probably even double my frame rate, squeeze an extra 40 frames out of it, and at least get this up to 80 frames a second in this scene, which would look a lot more smoother. But then again, I'll have to buy the pack to install the DLSS plugin. But yeah, I think we've made our way here to the end of the level. I think that's the end of the forest over there. So for some reason, my brain just thinks that this trail is going to reach, you know, the end of the forest and it's going to lead to some sort of tropical beach. I mean, what if you combine this Maui pack with the Electric Dreams demo rocks? Like say you took all the Mega Scans rocks and then created a coastline and then add the fluid flux water and beach waves. I mean, that would just be a combination of all the most realistic forest and water assets that we have available. And maybe if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll try and do that. But even then, I'll probably just do it anyways because it just sounds like it would look amazing. Now, this demo comes with two different maps. So we have the jungle biome on a sunny day. And this next map is the same jungle map, but in a storm. So here we are in the storm level and it's just pouring down rain. There's some lightning going off in the background, which is a really nice add-on because it adds sort of this flash of light that illuminates the scene around you. And in my opinion, these overcast scenes always look so much more realistic than the sunny, clear skies ones. I don't know why it looks so much more realistic with overcast skies. Can't really explain it, but it just does. But just look at the trees. I mean, you have all these trees swaying around in the wind and the rain droplet particle effects everywhere. Kind of reminds me of you know, Jurassic Park. I think the first movie when it's pouring down rain and the T-Rex you know, escapes its enclosure. But yeah, so here we have this wooden bridge and this just looks amazing. So you can see off the side of the bridge here and see just how far down the jungle or the forest floor is. And I mean, look at this fern with the water droplets. You can just see all the little rain droplets on the leaf of this fern. And let's actually go off the pathway and try and venture off into the forest. I mean, you could make some sort of Jurassic Park horror game, honestly. Just add a flashlight and walk through the forest, try to avoid some, maybe try to avoid some velociraptors or something like that. That would be a cool game idea. But yeah, look at this. We found some cliff over here. And the thing I love about this map that Maui put together is the fact that, you know, the jungle is not flat, right? You're not going to find a flat jungle. The topology in the jungle is very uneven. You have sort of these drop-offs, sharp cliffs, and just all the terrain rain is very uneven and difficult to navigate. I think that's what gives this map a lot more believability. And I think that's a river down there. Let's actually make our way down here and look at that. I mean, this is like a little swamp biome. Let's go ahead and walk into this river here. And you can even see the reflections on the water. That looks just so good, especially the wet specular texture on like the lily pads. You can even see all the little droplets on them. It just looks very realistic. And I'll try not to drown here in the river, but my favorite part here is just 
the big clearings in the jungle it just gives different variety where you have you know dense parts of the jungle with all the trees then you have this big clearing where you just have you know tall grass but yeah i think that's pretty much all the jungle map here there might be some other stuff to explore on the map but i think this is going to be it for this video i'm actually considering buying this pack i might try to recreate arc 2 or arc ascended maybe put together some sort of concept demo or something like that you guys seem to like the previous video that i made in that redwoods forest but yeah let me know if you guys want to see a video like that down in the comments down below and yeah let me know what you guys thought overall about the maui tropical rainforest pack you can download the demo from the marketplace page it costs you know $1.99 to buy the demo but yeah that's going to be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one